Hello everybody, uh, I'm moving on now to the next part of my cylinder and that's to get the valve chest holes drilled in the cylinder body and the valve chest is going to sit on there and it's got to be raised up one thirty second of an inch over this top face I think that's to put the brass cover on so I've measured one of my six inch rulers up and that's exactly a thirty second so I'm going to place that underneath it I've got to make sure that the valve chest centre line is parallel with everything else and I'm just eyeballing that that centre line up to make sure it is bang on in line with the cylinder I mean if you've machined your valve chest up true and square everything should come into line okay I'm going to mark two of the holes off with a punch and I'm using the corner holes So that's my valve chest then, I'm going to continue with that, but before I do that I'm just going to mark out where the portholes are going to come. And the centre line of the portholes is 2 and 5 30 seconds from this face where the frame is. So I've, I've set my caliper and I've drawn a centre line. I've got to find the centre this way and it's a, my, my cylinder blocks three inch long so that's what one, one and a half inch so I've just got to mark out where it's coming on on its extremities the seven eighth long so from the center line it's seven sixteenths each each side which is there and there now scribe my line on so that's the that's the width of all the portals or the length whichever way you look at it then the large exhaust portal is in the center which we've already found and it's three eighths wide, so that's three sixteenths each side of the centre line to give me three eighths. Then I've marked that porthole in. Then the two inlet ports each side, the five thirty seconds from the exhaust port and the 530 seconds wide so where the end of the exhaust port is I've, moved, I've moved, made a mark 530 seconds and then another 530 seconds for the width of the port and the same on the other side that's my port holes marked off in that position there well, I've got me two, old, me two diagonal holes spotted ready to drill and that's where the valve chest will fit I'm going to go over to the drill then and drill these two holes in and then we'll uh, reconvene and I'll bolt this on and uh, we'll, drill it, we'll drill these other holes out and tap them drill now and what you've got to do on your drill obviously because you've machined these tapers on on your cylinder bodies I've set me my drilling table over at the, uh, the the angle to suit that taper so that this top face is um, horizontal I'm going to drill these holes 7 sixteenths of an inch deep and then tap on 4BA put my, put my valve chest back on and then I can spot all the holes then so that they're all in the correct position that's it I 
Right now I've got them two drilled like a my valve chest on and I'm going to screw that on now to position it uh, so now I can uh, I can go back over to my drill spot these holes take the valve chest off drill them to depth and tap them right I'm going to spot these with a the clearance drill straight through the valve chest into the cylinder just a few thousandths to give me that start with me proper size tapping drill change the drill now put, put the tapping size in which is 3 millimeter for 4BA Now I'm going to put my valve chest back on uh, so when I tap them it'll act as a guide to make sure everything's square and then it's just a matter of continue tapping. Are you still with me? Sorry I had to cut you off there, battery died on camera. Just don't last all now. Right, I'll take the valve chest off and then run the plug tap down to the depth required. Right, that's all the holes tapped. I'll just put the valve chest on just to see if everything, uh, see if all the holes are lining up okay, which they should be. I mean, obviously the the uh, valve cover chest cover's got to be fitted on here. Yeah. So my next job on this on this then is to I'm going to go over to milling machine. This will be in the next part now. I can't do it all in this part. And I'm going to cut them slots in for the valve ports. Right, the middle, the middle larger port is the exhaust port that will be, be cut into this hole for the exhaust. And then the two either side, the smaller ones, that's, they're the inlet ports, and they'll go. I'll drill in from this bore on each side at an angle up to meet those inlet ports so that'll be for, that'll be for next time then uh, thanks for watching then bye for now